Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. We're going to have a quick look at the difference between a Wico Tasman Mark III and the Batman Security Hinder Screen Door Lock. Now, to start with, I'll show you my little diagram here. Normally, you'd have your screen door lock like this. When you remove everything from the screen door, you'll be left with two holes here. Uh, if you're converting a Batman into a Wico, there is a few little modifications you might have to do. First of all, uh, with this Wico one, you might actually need to um, adjust a little bit of this metal here to allow the cylinder to go in because they're different and you might even need to adjust it a little bit here and uh, also adjusting the strike which is this part on the side this is a Batman one here as you can see it's a lot larger and the Witco one if I have it in here yep the Witco one is a lot smaller so just looking at those two side by side you can see <clears throat> they're different screw holes screw holes are different and they're different lengths so you can always screw one on top of the other um, they will sorry you can always re replace this Witco one with this Batman one uh, there will be a slight gap around the outside as you can see there that will need to be uh, filled up painted or repaired just looking at the locks now they look quite close if we uh, will line the top up here this part and this part so if we line the top up, our screw holes up the top line up, um, our handle holes don't line up, uh, the Wico one is higher, our locking position here is slightly different as well, and our spindle is in a different position there as well. Now just looking at the cylinder hole, they're quite close, uh, the Wico one's slightly lower, and uh, here it's slightly lower as well. Now looking at the actual lock body, there is um, a slight difference in these lock bodies. Uh, it's about three mil difference. Uh, putting these two locks together now, side by side. If you're lining up the top hole, which we are in this case, you can see they're actually they're actually not um, exactly the same, and also the tongues are not exactly the same. Putting them side by side now, you can see. So when you're comparing it on the actual door. Um, most of the time this bottom cutout is for this cylinder section here and then the top section would be for the top one pretty much like that when you're using a Witco in the place of a Batman you might find that you might need to adjust it here or a, li a little bit of adjustment here as far as width on the lock they are the same width Let me just give you a quick measurement on that so we're talking about 15.7 15.63 which is a very small difference so in that respect they will be the same if you line the top hole up that'll be fine but then that'll mean that you need to adjust this bottom hole here as you can see the center of this bottom hole is about here I'm going to show you that and the center of this Batman lock is about here so the Wicker lock is slightly smaller um, it's a good lock the Wicker Tasman Mark 2 II and Mark 3 uh, stronger than the Batman in, in my opinion um, the Wico Tasman Mark 2 or 3 can replace the Batman but it can't if you've got the 3 point locking the 3 point locking is not included on the Wico Tasman as you see so if you've got 3 point locking um, you're going to need a whole, new, um, a whole new lock and 3 point locking kit to replace this Batman if you're only replacing it in a single locking then you don't have to worry about the 3 point locking and you can use a standard uh, uh, standard Wico Tasman lock like this Mark 1 or Mark 2 and as you can see they're quite a close replacement there's not much really in between them uh, looking at it just once again our handle hole they're different, our spindle different this um, inside turn snip about the same cylinders about the same, bottom hole about the same and our bottom screw hole there is a difference there but these are only small modifications that can easily be done um, and our striker plate once again I'll, I'll show you that a little bit closer this time so if we were to replace one to the other you can see that um, the screw holes here are different they don't line up uh, the Batman one's a lot bigger so if you were to replace one to the other you would have to actually putty there and repaint or you could possibly reuse this one with the with the uh, Wico Tasman that shouldn't be too big of a problem it will fit in there quite nicely when uh, you are installing this lock keep note that this gets pressed in and this one goes into the hole not both of them not like that 
but like that like that if you can see that the small one hits this plate the big one goes in only just the same as a Batman lock so that's just a quick small comparison against the uh, Batman against the Wico Tasman Mark 1 and Mark 2 to show you how close they are and that'll give you a good indication of how much modification will be needed to make one in space of the other okay thanks for watching